All right, in this video, we're going to talk about um, completing the square, specifically for conic sections. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I've done videos on this before, but, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's revisit. So uh, let's say we have x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 12y minus 25 equals 0. Try to color code everything. So um, everything with an x here is in one color, everything with a y is in a different color, and then the constant terms uh, still another color. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to uh, rearrange it so all the x things go together. So x squared plus 4x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a space, and then um, a space that we're going to fill in in a second, and then I'm going to uh, group the y things together. So I left that little space there. Um, now I'm going to leave another space, and then I'm going to move the constant to the other side. So a little space, and then equals 25. Uh, now we're going to complete the square. So when you do that, you check the coefficient of the squared term, uh, if that's 1, you proceed immediately. So uh, the coefficient of x squared is 1, so what I do is I focus in on the coefficient of x, which is 4. I take it, I divide it by 2, and I square it. And that gives me 4, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 4 on the left side, but I can't just add to the left side, so I'm also going to add 4 to the right side. And then I'm going to repeat this with y. So the coefficient of y squared is 1, so I jump right in. Coefficient of y is 12. Uh, so I take 12, divide it by 2, square it, that gives me 36, I'm going to add that to the left side, and also the right side. Um, so now I'm basically done. Uh, so this right here, x squared plus 4x plus 4, is a perfect square trinomial, that's the whole point. Um, so that gives me x plus 2 on a squared, plus, um, this should be a perfect square trinomial, or I did something wrong, um, so plus quantity y plus 6 squared, and then that's going to equal, just add those up, and you're done with that example. Let's take a look at another one that's maybe a little more complicated. Uh, so now we have 2x squared plus 3y squared plus 6x plus 24y minus 50 equals 0. I'm going to do the same basic thing. So I'm going to group all the x's, uh, group all the y's, and maybe move the constant over. So I'm not leaving a space this time because there's actually an extra step that I'm going to do. Okay, so I have this, grouped all the x's together, all the y's together, and then uh, move the constant over. So now what I'm going to do I check the coefficient of x squared. It is not 1. I want it to be 1 for this process to work uh, the way that I like to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a 2 out of everything that has an x involved with it. So 2, take a 2 out of x squared, you get just x, uh, take a 2 out of 2x squared, you get just x squared. Take a 2 out of 6x, and you get 3x. So I have x squared plus 3x. Now I'm leaving the space. Um, plus I'm going to take a 3 out of everything with a y square with a y attached to it because I need that coefficient to be 1, so plus 3. So that'll leave me with y squared plus 8y. I leave a space because I'm going to complete the square inside the parentheses this time. And then uh, all that equals 50. Okay, so now I look inside the parentheses. The coefficient of x squared is 1. I focus on the 3. So I divide it by 2 and square it. That gives me 9 fourths. So I'm going to add 9 fourths. Now here's the part where a lot of people make mistakes. I, it looks like I added 9 fourths to the left side, but I actually didn't. I actually added um, 2 times 9 fourths. So what I'm going to do on the right hand side is add 2 times 9 fourths, which is just 9 halves. Now let's move on to uh, y. Coefficient of y squared in the parentheses is 1. So I focus in on the coefficient of y, which is 8, divide by 2, square it to give me 16. I'm going to add that in the parentheses, but remember I'm not actually adding 16 to that side. I'm really adding 3 times 16, so I add 3 times 16 to the right-hand side, to 48. Um, and now this should give me, inside each set of parentheses, perfect square trinomials. So I have 2, and then the quantity. Um, so that's going to be uh, x plus 3 halves squared. Um, so if you don't remember how to do that, uh, if you have a perfect square trinomial, it's, it's going to be the, the square root of the thing that's squared. So the square root of x squared is x and then plus half of the coefficient of the linear term in there, so plus 3 over 2. Um, that works if there's a minus 2, it's, it's plus half of the negative, um, but let's keep going. So 3, and then I'm going to get perfect square trinomial, quantity y plus 4 squared equals, and then uh, just kind of work that out, got 2 of 5 over 2, it's my final answer. Alright, I'm going to do one more, which is again, uh, just another layer. Um, so grouping everything, so what I'm going to do here is uh, more how I actually do the work. So uh, I group all the x's and I factor at the same time. So I'm going to start with a 4, and then uh, I'm taking a 4 out of everything with an x in it. So that's going to give me x squared and then minus 8x. 
then I leave my space. Now, I'm going to take a negative 5 out of everything that has a y in it. So, minus 5, quantity. Take negative 5 out of negative 5y squared, you get y squared. Take negative 5 out of 20y, you're left with negative 4y. Leave a space, equals 24. Okay, so now I just focus in on these numbers, negative 8 over 2, and square it. So I'm adding what appears to be 16 on the left side, but don't forget it's really 4 times 16. So I add 64 to the right. And then I'm going to do uh, focus in on the negative 4, divide by 2, square it, gives me 4. I add 4 here, but what I'm really doing is negative 5 times 4. So I subtract 20 from that side, gives me 4. Perfect square trinomial, like that, and then minus 5. Perfect square trinomial, like that, and then just collect those, and there you go. Um, so that's three examples of completing the square. Kind of covers uh, really everything that you need to do with completing the square, to be honest. So uh, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.